Greetings. So I wanted to introduce what Autoforge is and also have this act as the first recap video for the project. So Autoforge is a 2D physics automation sandbox game that I will be developing on Twitch and making recap videos just like this one and putting them up onto YouTube. I just wanted to share the process uh, so people can see what it's like to develop a game, uh, develop a game engine, which I'll be developing in C++ and Lua, and uh, just kind of make it a community project overall. So as I said, uh, Autoforge is a 2D physics automation sandbox game. Uh, you can imagine that as like a terrarium meets Factorio. So side view perspective, you're exploring this world and you're building a factory and having items move around it. The physics as part, aspect of it comes in where the items will actually bounce off of things and uh, you know can be affected by other things inside of the world. Um, so we're starting the game engine and we're kind of using what I had previously done for Project Dig, which you can see I made a lot of videos on. This is really just an evolution of Project Dig over time. So I'm kind of ripping out some of the entity component system that we built for Project Dig, and I'm swapping it out with uh, a kind of simpler solution, a component-based system. And so that's uh, what we're starting with. Did some work uh, yesterday, and we're going to just kind of be continuing that. Uh, these recap videos really are going to be quite short, so I don't want to like spend a lot of time going into all of the you know minutia of like the decisions that we're making throughout the like five hour long stream. So if you're interested in those finer details, you can always join the Twitch channel. Um, so yeah, we're just right now sketching out what does the entity manager look like? What does entities and components, all of that sort of thing. Really, um, that is just starting to really show through what that is going to look like. There's a lot to uh, kind of figure out since we're trying to use Lua as the gameplay logic and content that means all of the components that are related to gameplay are going to be inside of lua so this component based system really needs to bridge between lua and the c plus plus so we'll have engine uh, specific components such as render or physics be inside of the engine and things more like inventory will be inside of lua so yeah, we'll just kind of keep going through it, figuring it out. I hope uh, you guys stick around, see how the project evolves over time. Uh, thanks for watching.